Hi there, boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Cooking Cheap. I'm Larry Bly. And I'm not. <laughs> I said we get a little enthusiastic. Yes. Isn't that beautiful? Did you grow those? Yes, Larry, I did. I grew them in my personal greenhouse attached to my home. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, they were brought in by Doris. Doris and Harold. Mm -hmm. They're both, wonderful. They both brought Little those. miniature roses are just gorgeous. And they smell so good, mm -hmm. and there's such an improvement over normally the scratching in the background. Uh, uh, tickles. We'll tell you about that in a minute. <laughs> but anyway, we got some letters. Yeah, dear guys, I watch your show every chance I get, which is often, and I love it. I do wish the station would furnish your kitchen with more tools of the trade and yeah. better sewage disposal. <laughs> However, I think you fellas do a lot with what you have. Thank you for all the good laughs and good food recipes. And that's from Mary uh, Bowling in Bishop, Virginia. And Mary, uh, you'll be happy to know that our former general manager, who is now our general manager emeritus, the fabled Rex, brought in practically everything from his kitchen and gave it to the show and we want to thank Rex for that because it is certainly going to help us a lot. He, he really is. He brought in some of the original Tupperware. It's just amazing. <laughs> he did. Did it's he really? Just, and a lot of, of that Corning stuff is wonderful. He also brought in his wife's bonnet. I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> right off the chuck wagon. <laughs> this is a wonderful name. This is a good radio name. You know, I spent many years in radio before I got into this high-tech mm. business of cookery on television. Billy Bundy. Billy Bundy. Billy Bundy. <laughs> and now, Billy Bundy on the news. I wonder if she's any kind of King Kong Bundy on the wrestling. <laughs> what do you think Billy Bundy is a woman? Well, well I guess it is. It's yeah. IE, isn't uh -huh. it? Well, how about that? Oh, my hair looks awful. But anyway, it always does. Dear Larry and Laban, please send me the gravy sauces recipe that you prepared on Saturday the 41st. I'm not sure that's <laughs> wrong, but anyway, it does say that. Uh, <laughs> is there something you don't... There were well, more it, days in that month than anybody was prepared for. Uh, hell with the lady in Bedford. You make no pretense of being Julia Child, but your information is something we can understand. Thanks for staying just the way you are, and please don't release my name. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's all right. Uh, we, we won't. All right. Okay. All right, <laughs> Billy. <laughs> and here is uh, a, a lady that also doesn't want us to uh, use her name, but she's from Blacksburg, Virginia. Who is she? And she writes and says <laughs> that although I'm an elderly woman who started in Ziegfeld and Kern shows on Broadway, about which I can write a novel, loved by English professors who can't put it down, see, see more and more, uh, I can get a publisher agent to read an unpublished author. And uh, <laughs> she said that she attended the Cordon Bleu briefly Ooh. and find your recipes very usable. And I well, just want to thank you so much. Uh, our secret friend from the Ziegfeld Follies, thanks for writing and Fabulous. telling us that we compare with the Cordon Bleu. Well, I've had their chicken. It's yes. marvelous. <laughs> really. Dear Laban and Larry, after watch, by the way, we'll be giving uh, Billy's uh, home, <laughs> home number address. and uh, address momentarily. <laughs> That'll be coming up on the screen. Dear Laban and Larry, after watching Cooking Cheap for the very first time Saturday, I just had to write this letter. There are a few things I'd like to say. First of all, all right. you guys have the Cosby Show beat all to pieces. Uh -huh. That's never been said around here. Maybe you should consider taking your act on the road. We have indeed done that on occasion, but for piddly amounts of money. Kindly, I'd love to have an autograph of both of you. Oh, isn't Aww. it? You write these, don't yeah. you? I uh, got the feeling that you're headed for bigger and better things. <laughs> well, we've had that feeling for eight years, and I just don't quite know what they are. Ha ha. All seriousness aside, I certainly did enjoy watching the show and eagerly waiting the next time, blah, 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 blah. And that's from Carol Cook, one of the Cook sisters, uh -huh. from well, Amherst, Virginia. Well, thanks, Carol. Thank you very much. We love letters yeah. like that. We pay people to write letters like that. Well, you know, this. we need to get over here to the kitchen. We really do. We have a lot of things to do. And, and Larry, since you're doing chicken today, we uh, thought we would uh, bring in a chicken what? so that... What? what? What is this? That's a chicken. That's what they look I like before know they get a in, chicken. This, in the chicken. I was package. raised. I raised chickens when I was a kid. What's oh. her name? Freckles. Freckles. <laughs> oh, how uh, you doing, Freckles? What kind of chicken is that? Let Why? me ask you something, uh, Doris. Did did she lay all of these uh, today or what? Super chicken. Yeah, super chicken. Well, uh, it she, certainly is nice to have something lively she besides chicken my. Yeah, and <laughs> this. <laughs> it certainly is something. Nice to have something lively besides myself on the program. Oh, thank you very much. I am uh, burning some chicken. I'm burning <laughs> some chicken on the stove. No, I am 
<laughs> burning some chicken on the stove. I am frying some chicken and I'm browning it on both sides in a little margarine. Now, don't you think that's pretty? Yes. It does not look burned except for a couple of pieces. And there's something wrong with that one. It won't turn over. But I am. I'm, I'm going to make quick chicken saute. And we'll get to the saute part here in just a couple of minutes. But right now, I'm just browning a little chicken on both sides. I hope Freckles doesn't get upset or nervous because I'm frying this chicken. But you know, I did raise chickens when I was a kid. I had to gather thousands of eggs every day. That's what I did for the first 12 years of my life. That's well, true. Did you win a lot true of ribbons story. at the Shandor County Fair? Oh, no, no, no. They just laid eggs for oh. money. We didn't show chicken. Who cares? Chicken's a chicken. See one, you've seen them all. Except oh. you, Freckles, darling. I was going to say that chicken's agent no, is going to be she, in here on she's you. Real, she's special. She really is. Uh, you start all while right. I'm salt. Well, I'm right. I'm just browning a little chicken. All right. Uh, a couple of uh, uh, chicken breasts. chicken breasts, boneless. I just boned them myself a few minutes ago. Saved a lot of money. I bought them with bones on and ripped them out, and I'll save a lot of money now to labor. Well, I'm going to make a hot potato salad, and uh, Ooh, this is I a like really that. neat kind of recipe. I've got six slices of bacon in here. And uh, we're going to fry it gently in this iron skillet. And that will help make the dressing for the chicken salad. And uh, I've also got a pound and a half of boiled uh, potatoes. These are the red skin potatoes. And it's real easy to peel these babies. I love their football team. Yes. Yeah. These are Washington Redskins. <laughs> Why wow, you're just having such a hard well, time? Well, I one of my one of my garlic uh, clothes clothes ran for just it. just popped right out of my hand. Went right but into the trash. Anyway, can. after you uh, these potatoes, incidentally, should this potato was cooked an hour or so ago, so it's lost some of its heat. But for this salad, you can uh, this is a hot salad, so this preferably should be a, a hot potato. I remember hot salad. And uh, I'm cutting away some of the dark part of this potato. But you Why is there a dark part of the potato, Laban? Is it a nasty, low-down potato? Well, or I didn't want to throw off on it, but uh, it has... Uh, seen its better days, Yeah, perhaps? it has uh, leaves a little to be desired. Mm -hmm. And I'm chopping them now into about a quarter inch or a half inch dice. A what? A quarter to Just a half inch dicing it up. Dice. Oh, I see, okay. Uh, for this potato, and we're going to put them down in our big bowl here so that directly we can when we're doing this salad we can uh, throw them in there along with our dressing that we're going to make and i'm going to i've got uh, two garlic cloves and i'm going to stick them in my garlic masher which we have such great fun with down here at the station i'm going to put that in there so the whole studio <laughs> it went everywhere the whole studio should be very aromatic that's a big word with me today. Have you noticed? Yes, I've used I, it like two uh -huh. or three times. Sort of like Pee Wee's uh, place, you know. The, the magic word of the day is aromatic. And what do we get if we say the right word? I'm trying to think of the one for last Saturday. I can't think of what the word was. All of you children could go and scream in your mother and dad's ear right now, aromatic. Aromatic. Is that an automatic arrow? All right, I heard somebody groan over there. Pretty bad. Now Boy. the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take about one package, about eight ounces of uh, mushrooms that I purchased at the store yesterday. They were on special. I saved a little money on. And I'm going. Freckles is uh, starting. I think Freckles to, uh, is about to frisky go into back labor. There. She's she's getting real frisky. I think she's getting ready to pop another egg out there. Anyway, I'm going to take those, I'm going to slice them up right in here. That's what I'm going to do. And it wouldn't be the first time that something on this show laid an egg. <laughs> first thing I'm going to do is put <laughs> about a cup or so of wine into the pot. Then I'm going to start adding my, ooh, doesn't that look pretty? Yeah, it's real pretty. Then I'm just going to chop these little babies up. And then I'm going to keep putting stuff in there, and I'll tell you as we go along what it is. By the way, can you believe I'm still getting fresh parsley? It's Good pretty. Grief. 
It's real pretty. Here it is in the dead of fall in our town. And, mm -hmm. Well, it's true. All right. <laughs> All right, everybody's getting into the act. Everybody's today. getting frisky today. Jim is going to unplug something over there, and Freckles is laying an egg, and this is the last half of potato to cut. You know, if you're not very good at dicing things, this is a great recipe to practice on because the the boiled potato is easy to cut, and you can learn how to do it. I always cut them in half first so that they lay flat on the cutting board or cutting crew, which is a musical group. Oh. And uh, the next thing I'm going to throw down in here with my pound and a half of potatoes is two onions that have been cut and diced also in small quantities while my bacon's doing great over here. Smelling real good. Smelling real good. I think this is a whole lot of uh, onion, but I figured, well, you know, who are we going to be messing around with on this show? Well, you know, yesterday evening I was out shopping and I came across the uh, amount of potatoes that I'm supposed to use on this and I would have sworn that it said 11 pounds of white potatoes. And I stood there and I thought, I'm going to bankrupt myself right here in the store. I can't imagine why we'd use 11 pounds of potatoes for these couple of little halves of, uh, of chicken. Mm -hmm. And then I suddenly realized that you had not put a dash in. <laughs> what a difference a dash right. makes. <laughs> and it was one, one pound container. I finally figured it out, much to my utter humiliation. No fault of yours. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I was such a dumb, dumb McGillicuddy. I'm tired of that. I'm not going to do any more of it. I don't care how much more it asks for. Now, this also calls for, all right, da, 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 I got the mushrooms in there. Okay, the white wine's in there. Quarter of a cup of chopped parsley. I'm going to do some parsley fresh from my garden. And yes, I washed it yesterday evening. That's why I'm not washing it now. I'm going to chop some of that stuff up. <laughs> you know, we keep get, getting letters from these fanatical well, you know, it's just got so, I'm just so nervous about it all, I just, I'm afraid to do anything. Because if you, you did everything that people wanted you to do, you'd never get anything done in the kitchen. Like taking soap and water to the chicken. Now, that's just carrying it too far, as long as you're not eating it raw. I'm going to throw that in there. A little parsley. This stuff smells like, isn't that great? You just can't, there's nothing like fresh parsley. I love it. People don't eat enough of it. All they do is put it on their plates to make it look pretty and they ought to be eating the stuff. There we go. Now I gotta put a whole lemon, the juice of a whole lemon in there also. So I'm gonna juice a lemon right now with some of our fine plastic juiceria equipment. I hope it doesn't break because I really am doing this very poorly but I've, I'm in a hurry at this point. See. Getting down to a very dangerous point, last 10 minutes of the show. <laughs> well, thanks. That was very subtle. <laughs> We're getting real good at throwing those cues around. That's a whole lemon. That worked out real nice. Mm -hmm. And I only got a minimum of seeds in it. I'll pour that in there. Woo, you know that's going to be good, that lemon and chicken. Mm -hmm. And I'm chopping up four hard-boiled eggs to go in this thing. Well, the last thing I have to do is make some attempt at opening these whole white potatoes. These are the canned ones. I would assume that if you have... Do you ever use canned potatoes? We knew this was going to happen on the show one day. We can't get into the potatoes. Is this the uh, best uh, we can do as far as the... Uh, this is really a poor excuse for an opener. I'm determined I'm going to get this open if it takes the rest of the program, and it probably will. Slowly, we, I'm making my way around. We had a real fine opener, yeah, was but this it Rex's disappeared. opener? <laughs> was this uh, Margie's opener one time? It's, it's, oh, thank God. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that was wonderful.
wonderful. Let me open another one. That was terrific. Now, what it says to do, it says there's something in, that's enough. That's all right. It's okay. Wait a minute. I think she has something she wants to tell us. What's the problem, Freckles? Huh? Hmm? She says uh, she's tired of looking at uh, the back of your... Well, she back. better enjoy it. She's just lucky she didn't end up in the recipe. It says whole white potatoes rinsed. <laughs> Wonder why that is. Whole white potatoes rinsed. I don't know. I guess they got something noxious on them. You see these potatoes? If you have any of these little fresh potatoes in the spring, you can use them yourself. Mm -hmm. You don't yeah. have to buy them out of a can. I've, I've never used a canned potato in my life. This is the first time I've ever used one, but that's what the recipe called for. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to disappear, thank you, and I'm going to go back and I'm going to rinse them, trying not to get any on the chicken. Yeah, don't get any on there. I'm trying to get this chicken to fry. Why would you rinse them off? I don't understand. I don't know. Maybe, maybe who sent this recipe? And put in? that in there. Who's, where'd this recipe come from? This recipe came from uh, Marilyn Fay of Richmond, Virginia. Well, maybe Marilyn is kin to that woman down there in Richmond that got on us about not washing stuff. And look at that. That's what it looks like when you put it all together. I'm going to put a little pepper in there because potatoes just look unnatural. They just look white and pale. We'd have put some makeup on them for television if we'd have known they were going to look that way. And a little bit of salt. Whoops. A little, little bit of salt. <clears throat> Pay no attention. Uh, okay. And that's it. I, I guess that's everything. I hope that's everything. And now what you do is you just saute that for a while, which means it would be nice if I had a lid. <laughs> no, you, it'll be you don't, fine. You don't need, no, don't I don't need a lid? So. You don't think you these could. things will be cold inside? Like well, they probably will. I mean, because we don't have as much time maybe as... You would need. Well, you just continue to saute that to all these flavors, obviously, until the, the mushrooms get done and the potatoes heat up. But if you want to cut your heating time on potatoes in half, of course, it, it, it sort of cuts down on the presentation quality, but you can always cut them in half, like so. All right. These potatoes are, are like glue. All right. Now, over here, over I'm here. making the dressing for this uh, thing, and I've fried my six slices of bacon in my pan, and now I have to add two tablespoons of sugar. Yeah. Oh, I don't have a tablespoon. That's all right. I'll just... I'll get Wait, you No, one. that's all right. Here. That's a handful. All right. And you put that right down in the hot bacon fat. And you also need a half a cup of vinegar. And... There's my vinegar. And let me stir this all around here. Well, that certainly is interesting. And while that's cooking, I'm going to, uh, if I can get it, pepper in here. And we're going to use a little bit of salt in our potato salad. Now this is all... Freckles says she feels an egg coming on. <laughs> oh, good. Anyway. Now what happens is we're going to dump all of this down into the oh, potato salad. Oh, you know that's just going to ruin that fine plastic. Woo! <laughs> oh, that was hot. My, oh my, that was very hot. How hot was that, Laban? That was so hot uh -huh. I'm gonna that work some these. of my relatives would feel at home with it. I'm going to work these low down potatoes down right, in now here. Let me Things turn this all, all around here. You, you know, maybe we ought to uh, give the recipe for this thing. What do you think? All right. Freckles is going to give the recipe. There you go. The quick chicken saute, and it really is quick. You saw I put that together in a matter of moments. Uh, two crushed garlic cloves, juice of a lemon, a half stick of margarine. You'll start out sauteing it and also to make sure that you brown the chicken breasts boneless on both sides, okay? And these were halved. I halved them myself. Well, aren't and you? then a half pound of sliced mushrooms all chopped up fresh, or you can leave them whole if you want to. I chopped them because we didn't have an awful lot of preparation time. A can of whole white potatoes rinsed, or if you have fresh, preferably. A half cup of white wine, quarter cup char chopped parsley, or charred parsley. Salt and pepper to taste. And, and then just warm it all up, and it's beautiful. It's lovely. And for the hot potato salad, you need a pound and a half of 
boiled potatoes, diced, four boiled eggs, diced, two medium onions, diced, six slices of bacon cut into one inch pieces and fried uh, with salt and pepper to taste, also uh, two tablespoons of sugar and a half a cup of vinegar. And those are the ingredients for the hot potato salad. Now I wonder if Witchy is... Uh, you remember that time when Freckles got caught in that windstorm and laid the same egg 14 times? Uh, uh -huh. yeah, I remember that. Well, well, let's get the witch in the here. The witch. Oh, okay. And see what Miss Witch, or I guess we should say Mrs. Witch. Mrs. Witch, yes. Uh, because we don't, to, she's done a low Passover. Dear boys, Junior and the boys is gone off hunting this weekend. Hmm. Lord knows I hope they come back. It is just so dangerous out there in the woods anymore. Uh -huh. Little Bobby Bill shot old Miss Simpkins where she sits down last year. He claimed that he thought it was a big old boar hog. Shot her right but, in a rocking chair. What? But we think he was just trying to get even with her for giving out nasty turnip fried pies on Halloween. <laughs> anyway, they says they're plan planning to get some quail. In case they actually do, y'all reckon you could give me some kind of new idea for cooking them, and that's from Sue Martha Driscoll of Collards Fork, North Carolina. <laughs> Matter of fact, next week we'll do just that. Yeah, we'll do we our dead do. level best well, next week. I'm a reckoning. Well, I reckon and we you're a grinning. Going, yeah, let's go on over here. <laughs> let's go over here. Now, don't start up with that chicken. No, I was just passing well, you by. You don't know where it's been. I can't help it. <laughs> well, I'm going to. I'm going to wait for him to get finished doing that, and then I'll do this. This looks interesting. Looks real pretty. It's a lovely presentation, as we like to say when we're doubtful about things. Well, are we down? That's oh. enough. Well, I just wanted to get my share. <laughs> you always do. Oh, here, make sure you get some of these potatoes. Oh, well, thank you so much. Oh, we got lots of potatoes on this meal. Do we have a toothpick? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is real pretty. Uh-huh. Well, here, let me try some of this chicken. I hope it's done. Oh, I think it is. I think I wish I had my chainsaw with oh, me. Oh, it's perfect. Mmm. Oh, that's got a nice flavor to it. I like the potato salad. It's wonderful. It really is. That is good. Mmm. We do have a winner here. Oh, your, your chicken is delicious. And it is... It is... Forkable. Mm -hmm. It's not tough like he said it was. It is good. I think it's delicious. Mm. Oh, the fresh parsley and stuff. Mm -hmm. This is a good meal. It really is. One of the best we've prepared, I believe, since last week. Or since Hector was a part. Or whenever. But anyway, we want to thank our special guest today, Speckles. Freckles. Freckles. I'll swear you've insulted her again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't You can't it. teach him anything. I didn't beat it. We'll see all y'all next week. Come on back.